What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Olivia Ostrom. I post all kinds of different kind of content, mostly health and fitness related, some mom content, day in the life, honestly, a little bit of everything. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's dive into this video. Today I am sharing with you what's in my gym bag. I know I posted a video like this probably a couple years ago now and I've definitely changed what I bring with me to the gym. So I thought I would give you an update on what I actually use at the gym and also what I use for my home workouts too. I actually just went and picked up a Starbucks because I was just craving a coffee and I love making at home coffees, but like there's just something different about a Starbucks. So I ended up getting the grande iced apple, I think it's a caramel macchiato. Do you say caramel or caramel? Cause I always say caramel and some people say caramel and it always throws me off because I've never said that before and I almost just said it there. Um, but that's what I got today. When I pulled up to the window, I asked the girl, I was like, do you like that apple crisp, like the ice version? And she was like, honestly, the only way that I like it is if I get it with oat milk and I get it stirred. And I was like, yes, that's exactly what I need because last time I got the hot version of this coffee, it tasted like nothing. Like it tasted like, a bitter oat milk and it wasn't good to be honest and that's because all the syrup was sitting on the bottom of it I can even tell like in this coffee here that the syrups on the bottom um, but it definitely helps that it was stirred like when they made it so um, highly recommend I ended up getting this one with oat milk and then I asked for two pumps of sugar-free vanilla and two pumps less of like the regular um, I think it's like an apple crisp syrup that they put in, so I did two pumps of each um, just to bring down the sugars a little bit. But that's what I'm sipping on in today's video. Usually I have an energy drink, but today we're doing coffees, so let's go ahead and dive in. So this here is my lovely gym bag. I am hoping and praying that Buff Bunny Collection will come out with a gym bag because I do not like this bag, but I like a plain, simple black gym bag. And Buff Bunny Collection has come out with a backpack, with the Game Changer bag, and with the duffel bag. The duffel bag's too big for the gym. The Game Changer, um, like, tote, I personally just, like, it's too fancy for me to bring it to the gym. And then my backpack is too small because I'm a chronic overpacker for everything that I do. So this is just a random Puma bag. I just found this from Winners probably like a couple years ago now or maybe like a year and a half ago. Okay, to start things off, I always bring a water bottle with me. A water bottle is an absolute must. I find that I drink a lot of water during my workouts and it really helps me with my daily water intake. So I always have one of these bad boys with me. I do really love the Alani ones just because they're big. And then they also have this nice little hook that you can hang on to. Um, so if I'm killing, carrying like a zillion things, I can easily grab this too. I also like to bring this with me so that I can mix up my pre-game pre-workout. So in my gym bag, I always like to bring a few different pre-workout options just because I don't usually like grab a new one every time I go to the gym. I'll just like leave one or two pre-workouts in my bag for like a month or a couple months or until I go through it and then I'll change out the flavor and add in some different flavors. And then for my at-home workouts, I like mix up my flavors there. So I probably work out like half the time at home, half the time at the gym. Um, but these are the ones that I currently have in my gym bag right now. So I have two different pre-workout flavors. I have the Island Crush, which is so good. It's very much like a tropical kind of flavor. And then I have have the breeze berry pre-workout both of these like probably like my top two favorite pre-workouts they both are so so good and then I also have pump in here I realistically don't need two different versions of pump in here I got a lot of supplements in my bag right now um but these are two that I also really enjoy the mango sorbet is probably my like favorite flavor of pump um, and then I also have the arctic white arctic white I don't love it on its own but it is good if I mix it with these so the difference between pump and pre-workout is that pump does not have any caffeine in it however it still is a really great like pump product to get your blood circulating and it definitely gives you like that boost of energy before your workout that is still stim free and then pre-workout on the other hand does does have caffeine in it so depending on what you're looking for um you know it's great that they have both options sometimes I like to do a little combo between the two I'll do like half a scoop of pump half a scoop of pre sometimes I just do pre sometimes I just do pump a lot of times if I find that I've already had too much caffeine for the day then I'll just stick with pump so that um, I'm not you know adding to my caffeine because 
I get a little bit anxious when I have too much too much caffeine and I feel like it has like adverse effects on me um, so if you do want to support me while shopping and using Alani products, I do have a code. It's a support code, Olivia, um, that does just directly support me. So thank you so much if you choose to use it. I do also have a monthly giveaway that we're doing now. So I'll put the link to the giveaway down in the description below. That way, if you do choose to support me, you can be entered into that giveaway too. So um, as far as other products that I have in my gym bag, I also have this. This, These Fit Shakes are literally my all-time, 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 all-time favorite um, protein shake. I love them. The convenience of them is so good. It's so nice to be able to just grab one of these from the fridge, throw it in my gym bag so I'm good to go after my workout, especially if I'm like running to the grocery store or running to do errands, I can still get a protein source in. Another thing that I really like to do if I don't have any fit shakes on me is to just keep a container, like a small Tupperware container with like one scoop of um, protein powder in it. That way when I'm done with my workout, I can fill this up. Up with some water and then pour the um, protein powder into my water bottle and I can have protein on the go after my workout so same sort of idea just I love the convenience of this and the flavor is so so good okay one thing that's a staple for me in my gym bag is to have a separate compartment for shoes because I get a little bit grossed out and I think that shoes especially like gym shoes I just feel like they're very dirty so I like to have them in a separate separate space in my gym bag so over here are my shoes i'll share with you my two favorite shoes that i have these are my nike air max 270s i've shared these so many times but because when i find a pair of shoes that i love i wear them all the time so i share them all the time i've been wearing these for a while now i also have a pair of clean socks in there too i always keep extra socks in my bag i think i have a pair of high socks too i love high socks as well just a nice change sometimes depending on my outfit so i have a pair of low rise socks and high rise socks these are just the nike ones that i love um but yeah these are the nike air max 270s if you can't find these ones online it's because they're actually the youth version so i wear a size 6 youth and honestly they fit incredible i'm like a seven and a half women sometimes an eight but probably more like a seven and a half and these are incredible because they save you money and they're literally the same shoe i think the difference between these and the women's is that these have like the clear um heel and the women's have the black heel i actually prefer the clear too so love 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 these shoes highly recommend i would say that my air max and my converse are my most worn worn shoes i've been wearing these converse for probably three years now in the gym the exact same style so probably in my last video that i filmed i guarantee i was wearing the same shoes i really like wearing flat soled shoes on leg day i don't lift crazy heavy at all but i really feel like having a flat base is really helpful especially when squatting doing deadlifts lunges compared to uh, a sole that you know has a little bit of a heel on it or even has like a really um like squishy kind of sole um so i love these shoes these are the leather version i will link up both um of these shoes in the description down below but i can't recommend these enough they're seriously like one of my all-time favorite shoes i love these for working out but i also love them for day to day too okay i do carry some like accessory stuff to help me um in the gym so i'll share with you what i bring um i always always have glute bands with me i think i have more than one in here too i usually like to have two different strengths i like to have a light one and then i like to have like a medium or a heavy one depending on what exercise i'm doing but i use these every single leg day pretty much i really like to use them to warm up but i also like to incorporate them into my workout sometimes too just to add like an extra variation or to you know just kind of hit and target a different part of my glutes um so i get these from buff bunny collection they have so many different beautiful prints pretty much every collection they come out with new ones but i like that they have light medium and heavy i personally mostly use light and medium i find heavy ones to be way too strong for me so these are an absolute staple for the gym but also for home workouts too um if you are limited with the equipment that you have at home these take up no room and they're very very affordable and just a great way to add different variations to your workouts 
The next accessory that I have here is an ankle strap. This is definitely not like a must have, but it's definitely a nice to have. Um, so this hooks around your ankles so that you can do different kinds of exercises like lateral leg raises or kickbacks. And honestly, I really, really like these. I got these from like Susie B Fitness. Um, she makes so many different like glute bands and hip pad products and stuff. Actually, I have one of her hip thrust products over there. I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, but yeah, this just goes around your ankle and hooks up to the cable machine so that you can do kickbacks or a bunch of different exercises on it. You can still like lots of times use like a, like one of the handles from the gym to do kickbacks, but this is just like made for it. Um, and also has a really nice like fuzzy kind of like material on the inside too. So it's really, really comfortable and it just allows you to, I feel like just get the best range of motion. I do also like to carry some long bands. I usually just have one in my bag for the gym. Um, I honestly don't use long bands too much at the gym. I kind of just keep it in my gym bag to be completely honest. I do use these a lot at home though. So it's nice because again, it's a whole different kind of variation. I also like that you can use bands, especially the long band for a ton of different back exercises for at home workouts. So if you are wanting to expand your accessories or equipment for at home, I think that long bands can be really, really helpful too. Um, Susie B does sell these as well and let me show you quickly her hip thrust pad that she has too. So this product isn't in my gym bag but it used to be only because my gym that I work out at now has these and there's no sense in me carrying it around the gym if they already have some there but this is the hip thrust pad. You can also use it if you're squatting too. I personally don't use it for squatting but it is like imperative for um like hip thrusts. If you're doing lighter weight, you definitely don't need it, but if you are lifting heavy just to protect like your hips and your hip flexors, really important to have this. It's basically just like a thick piece of fabric. So this is really, really nice. Um, Susie was so sweet to send these over to me, like honestly, probably like two years ago now, and I still use them all the time. Next up, we just have a plain old, old school lock for the lockers. Both gyms that I work out at do have just your standard lock or locker, so that's just the lock that I use. I always carry a scrunchie with me because there's nothing worse than showing up to the gym and realizing you don't have a hair tie. If you ever get to the gym and you don't have something to tie your hair with, most of the time gyms will have extra like hair ties or even like elastic bands that you can use. So I always just like ask the front of the gym. I've been caught in a pickle many times and I've been saved many times by like the front desk at the gym. So if you are ever in that situation, just don't be afraid to ask. I usually do carry Lysol wipes in my bag because it's 2021, but um, I don't have them in here right now. They're in my car because I was using them to wipe down a shopping cart with. And then we also have my AirPods. I used to love these when I first got them. And to be completely honest, I am not a huge fan of them anymore. I feel like they don't even get that loud. They're expensive and I'm just like not super happy with them. So I am thinking about possibly investing in like the Apple Pro pair. If you do have a Pro pair, like let me know, do you like them? I like that they can like actually sit in your ear and they have that little like plastic piece that like conforms to your ear because these ones I feel like the music's so quiet in them because they don't fit my ear right. Um, so I'm looking at getting some new ones because I like to be vibing out to music. I feel like it really helps pump me up for my workout. I do also have a workout Spotify playlist if you guys want to check that out. That's usually the um, music that I listen to for my workouts. I will be honest and say that I don't update it as much as I wish I did, but it's just one of those things that just kind of falls behind on my to-do list. So um, those are basically basically all the things that I carry in my gym bag. I keep things simple, but apparently I just carry a lot of duplicates of things like two pairs of shoes and four different pre-workouts. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If there's any specific videos that you want to see in the future, I would love to hear your ideas down below. Thank you so much for watching and just being here. I really appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.